So happening right now, we have just learned a woman hit on I-94 has died in the hospital. This all happened in the middle of the night. She was actually walking in traffic, so you have to wonder, what was she doing there? Well, the answer might be in a nearby pond. Our Myra Sanchek live in Kenosha County where this all happened. Myra? Yeah, Brad and Ann, this retention pond behind me is where authorities say it probably all started. They say the woman drove her car into this pond, apparently got out through an open window, but then walked to the interstate right nearby on foot. The state patrol says it was three in the morning when a woman walking in traffic on the interstate in Kenosha County was struck by a vehicle and seriously injured. The crash happened near a construction zone on I-94 eastbound at County Highway N. Officials on the scene rushed to perform CPR on the woman hit. It wasn't until several hours later, Jason Hendrickson was coming to work at the Mars Cheese Castle. Another employee asked him to check out something in the pond outside. I took a look around the pond and realized that it wasn't a filtration system. It was a car. I told my secretary to come outside. She came outside, told her it was a car. I had her call the cops. Dive teams came to search for potential other victims and evidence. Several hours later, they pulled out the Honda Civic. Authorities say the victim was driving. Apparently, she drove into the pond and then went up to the interstate, perhaps looking for help. We didn't know if there was anybody with her, so we had to start doing a search through the water to make sure there was no victims in the water. This is the third incident of this kind in the past three and a half months. In March, a 54-year-old Sussex woman was killed on I-43 near Racine Avenue when her car was disabled on the shoulder and she walked across traffic. In May, a 46-year-old Mequon woman was killed by a truck on I-43 in Ozaki County after pulling onto the shoulder and walking along the interstate. The state patrol continues to investigate what led to this latest tragic incident in Kenosha County. And authorities tell me they are retracing this young woman's steps and that retracing is leading them to an investigation at a local bar where they tell me she was with a group of friends before this accident. Reporting live in Kenosha County, Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. Myra, thank you for the update.